students today we will begin with our course book and the first chapter that you have done with ritu ma'am is the brahman and the mongoose now today we will do grammar declarative sentence and interrogative sentence now in the story that is the brahman and the mongoose let us revise it before we continue a recap now we know that the brahman was a very educated learned person but there was a problem with him he had his head in the clouds what does it mean unaware of what's going on that means that person frequently daydreams or is lost in his or her own thoughts that means has very less attention to what is happening here and now so any person who does not pay much attention and the mind and the thoughts are somewhere else you can say that that person has the head in the clouds now the brahman has a wife and the wife is very dearly fond of the son they have all right so what is dearly fondly with affection a lot particularly deeply greatly thoroughly immensely yes indeed really a lot or all too much so that means the wife was dearly in love with her son all right and then she longed for another son but they the brahman and the wife did not have another son so one fine day she was struck with a wonderful idea that means what is the meaning of strike on upon it means to find to discover something that happens suddenly so an idea that came suddenly to her mind and what was the idea the idea was to adopt a mongoose all right now what does she say to herself she said to herself who will be my second child a brother to my son suddenly she was struck with a wonderful idea i will adopt a mongoose that's what i'll do and that was what she did now why are we doing this this is a way of writing in which we ask a question but do not expect the answer so just see how they have used it she is speaking to herself these are her sorry these are her inner thoughts all right and she's talking to herself it's not loudly it is something you know she's just thinking in her mind who will be my second son a brother to my son she's asking herself and then she herself was struck upon a wonderful idea she she doesn't need the help of anybody else but she gets the idea herself and what does she say to herself i will adopt a mongoose that's what i'll do so she suggests something to herself and then she follows that decision and see how beautifully it is written i will adopt a mongoose that's what i'll do and in the next line and that was what she did so while you are writing this is another way you can use in your writing all right now let us go back to the story now she longs for a son she does not have and then she thinks of adopting a mongoose and then one fine day it was a hot dusty day and the sun was at its highest see instead of saying the sun was hot it was very hot see how it's a, such a beautiful way of describing it was a hot dusty day and the sun was at its highest see dusty day alliteration all right so it was a very hot day and she tells her husband i am going to get water i am going to fetch water now take care of the children now who are the children the son and the mongoose all right but then she knows and maybe she thinks and see there's another way of writing but who knows whether he heard her or not 
that means she does not know whether he heard it or not nobody knows whether he heard it or not and why for the simple reason he has a problem in the corner right side we have seen as usual the brahman was lost in his thoughts he was lost in his thoughts so he does not know when his wife went and left the children to him to take care all right and then nearby there was a snake yes and the snake was sitting and the tongue flicked what is the word flicked yes and what is flicked it's a very short sudden movement of the tongue when the tongue comes out and then goes back again yes a very short movement all right and then the snake sidled that means he walked in a furtive way or an unobtrusive way or in a timid manner specially sideways or obliquely yes slantingly creeping moving closer sneaking yes surreptitiously stealthily silently so these are the ways or these are the other words for sidled walking very slyly so that nobody comes to know so the snake moves like this and he goes near the baby and what is the baby doing the baby is gurgling unaware oblivious of how close he is to danger he does not know that danger is approaching all right and the mongoose is nearby and his natural instincts told him or he came to know that something was seriously wrong he had intuition now there are no reasons for knowing that something bad is going to happen but you have a feeling inside that something is wrong this is called intuition and it is also called the sixth sense we have five senses but intuition is known as the sixth sense it is also called the gut feeling feeling from inside somehow we know and we don't know why how what but something is wrong so the mongoose has got natural instincts that something is wrong and he needs to do something about it he comes to know that the baby was in danger all right so what did he do in a trice not thrice thrice means three in a trice that means quickly he leapt in a second yes in a flash in a twinkle what is a twinkle we know the twinkle of an eye that means he was even faster than that all right just you know your eyelids they close that is called the twinkling of the eyes so just a twinkle a very short moment that means very quickly so he leaps instantly quickly and he cracks like a crack like a flash and he moves towards the baby uh, towards the mongoose and he kills the mongoose now when the brahman's wife comes and the mongoose is really very happy he wants to go and show to her that he has saved the baby's life but to his horror the brahman's wife did not take this as a good sign she saw the blood dripping all right drop by drop from the mongoose's mouth all right and what happens she thinks that maybe the mongoose has killed the baby so what happened she caught her breath in horror as soon as she saw the mongoose she could not breathe it's like catching you are not breathing the breath of the air is inside the lungs all right you are not breathing out you've just taken in you have breathed in but you have not let the air out so it is a short quick breath of air owing to pain or when a person is astonished or surprised all right and she was expecting something very bad fearing the worst expecting something bad a terrible premonition premonition of knowing that some disaster is near or something bad has happened of imminent disaster a strong feeling that something is about to happen or something unpleasant or foreboding all right so she fears the worst worst and what does she think 
the mongoose has killed my baby the mongoose has killed my baby not me my baby these were the only words that ran through her head and she picked up a heavy stick and killed the mongoose with one blow all right so with one blow on the head the mongoose is dead now see this is very very a situation and we all should be careful that we should never make decisions in the heat of the occasion or the event or situation we should think before we act and the brahman's wife does not do this and hence the mongoose in spite of having done something good loses his life all right there's another lesson here whenever you do something good let somebody else find out and speak about it don't try to blow your own trumpet or you might get in trouble like the mongoose now once the brahman's wife realizes that she has made a mistake she begins wailing unconsolably wailing crying loudly tears streaming down her face uncontrollable yes and the person also becomes unconsolable you cannot whatever you say will not pacify the person will not console the person so she is wailing unconsolably all right now so once everything is finished there is no point regretting because something bad has already been done so this is what we had studied all right and in our lesson we had studied some idioms now what are idioms they are combination of fixed words which have particular meaning we can't guess their particular meaning by reading them and they don't even make sense sometimes all right but they have an exact meaning and the meaning never changes for example it rained cats and dogs last night there is no meaning of this because cats and dogs can't rain okay but it is used for a heavy downpour a he heavy rain or a storm a rainstorm a torrent of rain head in the clouds we have seen this before what is the meaning of the head in the clouds it is unaware of what is going on a person who day dreams a person who is always lost in his thoughts so this is called this person has his head in the clouds all right next barking up the wrong tree that means focusing on the wrong place while you should be trying to look for something in another place but you are searching for it in a, in the wrong place then you say barking up the wrong tree maybe it has come from dogs have you seen the dogs barking so sometimes the dog may be barking at the wrong thing all right standing and barking that means you are barking up the wrong tree as right as rain yes now what is as right as rain we cannot understand the meaning but it means a feeling of happiness feeling well feeling good so you say today i am feeling as right as the rain and sometimes you may not know the reason but just simply you are feeling happy because there's a some sort of inner happiness and you may use this for your happiness or to describe your state or your condition of happiness under the weather yes now see under the weather is used for feeling ill unwell or sick when you're fe not feeling well now burn the midnight oil now what is the meaning of burning the midnight oil it means working late into the night when you are working really hard during the night then you say burning the midnight oil by the skin of your teeth that means escaping some something a narrow escape being saved by a fraction of a second or something bad could have happened for example usually in accidents all right it is just by a fraction of a second that you might miss an accident then you say that i was saved by the skin of my teeth 
very very in the teeth have you seen the skin it is so thin and that is why we have this idiom bite of more than you can chew sometimes when you are really hungry you could take a very big bite of the food or the chapati and then later on you may find it very difficult to chew all right so that situation you may say is biting of more than you can chew that means taking on more than you can manage tongue in cheek joking not to be taken seriously all right kick the bucket it means died passed away crossed over there is another way of saying crossed over but of course if many people do not know this then they might be thinking it is something like crossing a bridge going across a bridge crossing the river all right but it means dying passing away gone to eternal rest gone to a better place all right so these are the ways in which we can describe when somebody dies instead of saying he died all right in a very nice way you can say he passed away last night or he is crossed over he crossed over last night and where did he cross over he crossed over for eternal rest yes gone to a better place where there are no troubles where there are no sorrows and that is why we use these words keep an eye on that means keep a watch over to look carefully to keep under careful observation all right thin on the ground it means rare infrequent scarce sparse like gold dust all right now sometimes sparse means very difficult to find very very tiny for example a gold a small particle of gold dust it would be very difficult to even see yes so when you are talking about something which is difficult to get very rare then you can say thin on the ground or a beautiful way of saying as scarce as a hen's teeth yes where can you see a hen's teeth difficult to see all right so these are your idioms you have to learn them and the meanings now let us come to our course book page number 14 grammar all right declarative and interrogative sentence so a declarative sentence is one which begins with a capital and ends with a full stop so all sentences are declarative sentences yes the next is interrogative sentence which means a question mark all right a question interrogative means question mark that is why you must have heard sometimes we say that the police interrogated the fugitive the police interrogated the thug the robber so you could use it in many ways all right now you can make your narrative very very expressive by introducing questions we've seen this before she hurried home as quickly as she could forgetting her jar of water and what did she do questioning yourself yes on the rush mat lay her baby safe and sound with not a mark on him beside him lay the dead snake all right so it is a question a rhetorical question which does not need an answer all right so these questions make your writing very interesting so declarative beginning with capital letter ending with full stop she was a good mother and question was she a good mother and that was what she did what did she do all right the brahman had a wife did the brahman have a wife yes how did the brahman feel at the death of the mongoose so you can have declarative sentences and interrogative sentences all right now this is what we have done these are the sentences she said to herself who will be my second child a brother to my son suddenly she was struck with a wonderful idea so she herself questions herself she herself has the wonderful idea and she does exactly that all right so this is how we make our writing interesting by introducing interrogative sentences all right now 
so we have already seen that rhetorical questions do not need any reply they are self explanatory all right now exercise a replace the sentences that have been underlined and what you, what will you replace them with interrogative sentences let us come down maria was sitting in a comfortable chair reading a book suddenly out of the corner of her eye she thought she saw something move she could not see what it was she turned her attention back to her book now see the example she saw something move she could not see what it was so for the red part how do we make a question what was it she could not see what it was so what is the question what was it we will not write what it was what it was is wrong we will write what was it all right now this is how you have to read and for the underlined words the sentences you have to write questions all right she turned her attention back to her book once again she thought she caught a flicker of movement over by the window she wondered what it could be so what will the answer be what could it be and question mark all right so try and do this and your homework learn the idioms and their meanings read exercise a on page number 15 and try and do this exercise thank you